Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you the number one simplest reason why you're not making money in your day trading. So I'm going to give you a specific example from Tesla, and then I'm going to take you back earlier in this past week, and I'm going to show you a perfect example of my trading where I didn't follow my own rules and I lost out on a pretty big trade. So the number one reason why you're not making money, the topic of this video, it's super, super important and I wanna dive right into this. So let's just flip over to tradingview.com and just gonna bring up sort of a standard issue day trading time frame. A lot of people like to trade five minute charts, two minute, three minute, one minute, whatever. I like to trade 15 minute charts, but for this example, I'm gonna just set this up and show you exactly why you may not have made money if you were trading Tesla, for example, on May 13th. I just picked up this example. Of course, I cherry picked it. I wanted to demonstrate a point. We're gonna dive right in. Oh, real quick, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. We'd love to have you as part of the channel. All right, let's keep going. So with Tesla, five minute chart, let's just say, and I'm gonna show you this, this 50 simple moving average. You see, I can turn this on and off. So let's just say your strategy is to short Tesla if it has a five minute candle that closes below the 50 simple moving average. That's very straightforward. And I'm a firm believer in that almost any strategy that you can dream up can be profitable if you can build the right foundation, give it the right walls, put the right roof on it. It's not just about the trading setup or the trading crossover or the breakout it's that's a piece of it but then you've got to build the rest of the house around it you've got to make sure that your risk to reward is correct and you've got to know how to read market conditions there's all kinds of different variables so we're just going to distill this down to a very simple point we're not going to worry about anything else other than a trading setup other than just a simple 50 simple moving average crossover or breakdown strategy and why you might not have made money on this. So let's say you are going to short this if you get a break and a close below the 50. So Tesla opens up, first five minutes start to drop, second five minutes you're dropping, and then you get this third five minute candle. Now look what this does. Five minute candle breaks below your 50 and closes. So that's your signal, that tells you let's get short. So when this low gets broken, you're gonna get short. You get short a thousand shares, whatever. Pushes down and you're thinking, oh, OMG, I'm in the money. Then this candle opens, rejects you, rejects you, and likely then stops you out maybe above this candle. So you get stopped and now you're feeling a little beat up. Maybe you didn't control your R's consistently. And if you don't know what R's are, I'll put a video up here. But if you don't control your risk level, maybe you took an oversized loss, you're feeling bad about it, okay? I get that. Now, Tesla rolls over. You get a little doji here. We start to head back down. Now, this starts to flirt with the 50 and you start getting nervous. You think, oh man, I gotta take this trade. I gotta take the breakdown. It closes below and then it opens, this next candle opens, and say it pushes up a little bit first, and you think, you know what, I'm gonna sit this one out, I don't think it's gonna work. Then it kinda comes down, throws this wick, comes back up, you're not in the trade, but you're watching it, and then boom, 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 all the way, almost to the end of the day. Big, huge monster move that you missed because you took the trade, let's get fancy here. You took the trade here, but you didn't take the trade here, okay? So what's wrong with that? Well, that's a lack of consistency. And that is the number one reason why your trades aren't making money is a lack of consistency. The problem is you have to day trade the same way every time, no matter what. 
So if your R value is making you sweat, if taking this first loss made you sweat, then you're risking too much in the trade. You have to be able to put this trade on every single time you see the setup. Now, this could be any setup. I'm not saying, I'm not endorsing this 50 moving average. I'm just saying that if this was your trade setup and you took it here, that means you've got to take it here. You can't neglect this clear setup. You got to take them all or you're going to miss this bigger move. Now, to show you that, yes, we all fall victim to this, I'm going to flip over to Thicker Swim for a second and I want to show you a situation. So I recently had a few days in a row, mainly here. I like to get short below this low. I got whipped around and lost here. I lost here. I lost here. And then I started kind of tweaking a couple things. And I thought, you know what? Let me try something else to see if I can make my strategy a little bit better. So I took those previous three trades, three R's, all of them lost, okay? Then guess what happens? This guy comes out. And this guy ended up being a 7R winner. So this one day when I wasn't consistent would have made up for the three losses plus added four R's to my P&L for the week. But I missed it and now we've moved on to other days. You can't miss the serious good moves, what I like to call the monsters. Every month has multiple monsters lurking. You don't know. If you look at a calendar, any of those days, there could be a monster behind each day. You don't know where, where they are, so the only defense you have is to be consistent. You have to stay in the game the same way every time with the same risk level, and then you'll snag one of those monsters, and that could make your month. So this was a very unfortunate miss on my part. And I recently made a commitment to writing out my trade plan. And I think this is a huge point. If you want to remedy your inconsistencies, I'll give you this one tip. Get a piece of paper, write out your trade plan step by step in a mechanical way that you can hand it to a 10 year old and they could execute it. No ambiguity, no subjectiveness, clear, crisp price levels, candle formations, whatever it is, Make sure you write it out and then follow that for 30 days with an R level that you can tolerate, an R level that doesn't make you nervous. Now, if you want to come over and join my private group within the YouTube channel, you can hit the join button. You get access to a private Slack group. And in that Slack group, in our trade plan section, I've posted my trade plan, literally a screenshot of my piece of paper, and it's up in there and you can look at it. But it's so that the group can help hold me accountable to the consistency piece of following every step no matter what. And I think it's a good idea to give yourself a time frame. So for me, I said for 30 days, 30 straight trading days, I'm going to not deviate from this plan even an, a centimeter, not at all. And if I can get through 30 days, then I will have established a habit of consistency and I can truly see the results without mixed variables because every time you trade and you change something, you're changing basically the way you measure it. You can't measure things if you're always changing the experiment. I always give an example of making chocolate chip cookies. If you want to truly know how good your cookies are and you're giving them to people, Every time you make a batch to give to people to get a report or a feedback on them, you can't change the recipe. You can't have one batch with, you know, a cup of chocolate chips and the next batch with two cups because they're going to be totally different. You have to repeat the recipe the same way every time or it's just not going to work. So the number one simple fix, and I say simple because it, it's, it's simple, but it's hard to do. I challenge you, 30 days with a written plan where you don't deviate even once, not for any reason. And if you can do that, then you would be a great addition to our private group because consistent traders are profitable traders and I challenge you to do this. So come join us over there and thank you for stopping by. If you have questions about consistency or how to be consistent, drop them in the comments. I will respond to 
every single comment I get down there. Thank you for stopping by and we'll see you next time.